What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to craft weapons in Destiny 2 Witch Queen. And if you guys wanna see more D2 content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PVE and PVP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear up a few things when it comes to crafting weapons. As of this video, there are a few weapons that can be crafted, specifically weapons that you can see in the right side of the triumph section called patterns and catalysts. You can only craft a weapon if it is in that section and you have completed the pattern progress by acquiring the same weapon in game, but with a red border on it and completing its attunement progress. However, there are weapons in game with red borders that are not craftable and you attune these weapons to get the materials you would need in order to craft weapons. I would just check the patterns and catalyst section if you are unsure. You can get these weapons from bounties, missions, engrams, leveling up any of the reputations, opening up paraversal halls, chests, etc. You need to get kills and or complete activities with that weapon equipped in order to gain attunement progress which gives you a deep sight resonance mod. You'll know you'll have it when the right side of the screen says Deep Sight Resonance Complete. Once you complete the attunement progress, go into your inventory, then select the weapon details, go to the mod weapons under where it says Deep Sight Resonance, and claim it by selecting one of the resonant materials shown. All resonant materials have neutral element, but you will need to choose between two of the other elements in the different packages. I would get what you need for the mods that you want and you need enough of that specific material to craft the mod you want for that weapon later on. There are other crafting materials like Resonant Alloy that you can get by deleting weapons and Ascendant Alloy that you can get from Banshee44 at rank 16, once per week from Master Raul's special orders for 400 legendary shards, the weekly campaign mission after reaching rank 13 with Finch, and when you get to rank 18 with Finch, the master difficulty of Wellspring on Savathun's throne world. But when you do the activities, it pretty much comes down to RNG. Unfortunately, you can only hold 80 resonant alloy at one time. And I think you can only hold about 10 ascendant alloy at once as well. Once you have all the materials you need, you can go to the Enclave and craft your weapon. When you get to the Enclave, turn around, go down the stairs, and approach the relic. This is where you shape or reshape a weapon. You can only shape a weapon that you have unlocked a pattern for and you cannot reshape a weapon that is equipped or locked, just so you know. Let's go ahead and start with shaping a weapon first. Before you can shape a weapon, you need to pick the weapon type and the weapon that you want to shape. Once you pick your weapon, you will need to pick the first intrinsic perk. The other perks are unlocked after you level your weapon up and reshape the weapon. After picking the intrinsic perk, then you need to go ahead and pick your next four perks that you want on the weapon that are available. And when you make a new weapon, at first, only two of those perks will be available at a time. You won't be able to choose any of the enhanced perks because you need to level the weapon up to gain access to them. And you level the weapon up by using the weapon. There is a memento socket where you acquire mementos by completing high difficulty activities. So you'll most likely skip this one until later on. And then at the very end, you will click on the weapon in order to shape it. Once shaped, it will go into its respective weapon slot on your character. Next, let's go over reshaping a weapon. This is extremely simple because this section is the same as when you shape a weapon Except, you will come here after you have leveled a weapon and gathered all the materials you need in order to unlock the other perks. So essentially, it's pretty much editing your weapons that you have leveled up, but you go through the same process as when you shape a weapon. Now, when it comes to being able to see what or how many crafting materials you have, all you need to do is hover over the perks of that weapon. Unfortunately, Bungie didn't give us a section specifically for this where you can actually see the crafting materials. I mean, they really could have just added it to their normal inventory. We have the space. If you guys have any other questions when it comes to crafting weapons, let me know down in the comment section below and I will be happy to help you guys out. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.